All right, for this example, we are asked to find the velocity, speed, and acceleration of a particle whose motion in space is given by this position vector. Um, and then we're asked to find the velocity vector at time uh, equals uh, 7 pi over 4. So uh, the velocity vector is going to be given by the derivative of the position vector. So uh, this velocity vector is r prime of t. And uh, remember that to find the derivative of a vector function, uh, we're just going to take the derivative of each of the component functions. So uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is negative 2 sine of t i. Um, and then the derivative of sine is cosine, so plus 2 cosine t j. And then uh, 5 cosine squared of t, we're going to have to uh, bring that 2 down, so that, that's going to make that a 10 cosine of t times the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, so it's going to be negative 10 uh, cosine t sine t k. And then we can uh, simplify this a bit, so this is going to be negative 2 sine t i plus 2 cosine t j. Um, 2 cosine t sine t is going to be equal to uh, sine of 2t. So this is going to be minus 5 sine of 2t uh, times the unit vector k. All right, so there's our velocity vector. Now the acceleration vector um, is going to be the derivative of the velocity vector, which is the second derivative of the position vector. Um, so now we take the derivative of this, and that's going to give us our acceleration. So uh, derivative of sine is cosine, so this is negative 2 cosine of t i um, minus 2 sine t j. And then uh, for this one, it's going to be uh, cosine, but then uh, we've got to multiply by 2, so it's going to be negative 10 cosine of 2t k. Um, all right, so there's our velocity, there's our acceleration. Uh, we're also asked to find the speed. So the speed is just the magnitude of the velocity. So if we take the magnitude of our velocity vector, um, that's going to be the square root of um, this squared. So uh, negative 2 sine of t squared plus 2 cosine of t squared um, plus negative 5 sine of 2t squared. All right, so notice that if we square both of these, we're going to get uh, 2 sine squared t plus, or sorry, 4 sine squared t plus 4 cosine squared t. Um, so if we factored out the, that 4, we get 4 times sine squared plus cosine squared, which is... Um, which is 1, so this is just going to be 4. All of this is just going to give us 4. And then uh, negative 5 squared is 25. So 25 um, sine squared of 2t. That's going to be our, um, our velocity. All right, now, or our, sorry, our speed, with the magnitude of our velocity vector which is our speed. So now let's, um, let's erase some of this just to give me some room and go back up here and we want to find the velocity vector when uh, t is equal to 7 pi over 4. So we're going to go back to our velocity vector and, um, and then just find 
that velocity vector when the time is 7 pi over 4. And so we'll just plug in 7 pi over 4 for t here. Uh, the sine of 7 pi over 4 is going to be um, negative square root of 2 over 2 uh, times negative 2. So that's going to be um, just square root of 2 i. And then our uh, next component is going to be uh, the, let's see, the cosine of 7 pi over 4 is going to be square root of 2 over 2 times 2. This is going to be square root of 2, j. And then uh, 2 times our t. So 7 pi over 4 times 2 is 7 pi over 2, which is the same as 3 pi over 2. Um, and the sine of that is negative 1. So uh, negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. So that's our velocity vector at uh, time equals 7 pi over 4.